I use this to bring each and every one of us together is that um, most people have different ideas when they hear of Africa, when they hear of Nigeria, they think of violence, poverty, disease, every bad thing you can. There's a lot of prejudice about Africans, though we accept some of them, but it's not always correct, it's not always um, the truth. And today is um, our anniversary day, so we thought it fit that we could invite everybody, Nigerians, our spouses, our guests, our girlfriends, boyfriends, everybody, and we could have an opportunity to interact with fellow Nigerians, and students, and people who could get to have an idea more of um, what Nigerians really are like, and not what um, they've been told they are. Um, if one of us, Florian, was also German from Castle, he was recently in Nigeria, and yeah, I'm sure he has, <laughs> he could tell us some of the things he really saw, because I think um, what you see, what you hear from the news is not always the complete picture of what is always on ground. Fine, there are some bad sides, but the bad sides are kind of like overshadowed the good sides. And the good sides are always still there, but you need to visit Africa, you need to visit Nigeria to really see it. Um, Nigeria has a population of, can you tell me? 140. 150. 150 million. 150. Over 200. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> And I think no other country, hardly does any other country come to half of that population of Nigeria. So if you really want to have a real feeling of Africa, you don't understand something about Africa, I think you need to, to know Nigerians, to visit Nigeria and have um, a clearer picture. And yeah, it's at this junction to start our um, Event. You know, many of us are uh, due to logistics problems. Some people could not be here. There's a lot of traffic. Some people are trying to prepare. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can someone have it for me, please? Give me some. Yeah. Some people are trying to um, prepare some food, some stuffs. There are quite a number of us that are not here, but I'm sure, I'm sure they are somehow they are here with us in some ways. So, uh, Alright, so um, we'll be starting the events. So, <clears throat> I leave it on to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was nervous, you know. <laughs> well, like 1,000 students, people, you know, you know. You can't blame him. So, um, you can see here that there are different uh, Nigerian students here from all over parts of Nigeria. Some have studied, some are about to study and some are still studying. And obviously they had they had experiences to share and I'm gonna call on everybody to tell me your experience in this place. Because it's far from home, you know, you know, being alone, you know, I can just remember um, the first time I came to Germany and I was like, wow. Oh my gosh, a different place, you know. And I came doing during um, snow, so it was so cold. I just wore so many shirts, and you know, what else, you know? We're new here, so that was an experience. And we all have different experiences to share. So I'm sorry. Well, I have to call anyone. First of all, I would like to call a young man there. Just clap for him, clap for him. <laughs> to share his experience. You can stay there and just 
talk, or you can come here so that everyone will see your beautiful face. No, it's okay, I'll still use it. Okay, um... Don't be ashamed, don't be ashamed. It's okay. Well, my first experience was uh, when I landed in um, through Hanford Airport at um, Frankfurt. Um, it was difficult um, locating my friend, that was Emmanuel, he was in Bochum. But he said um, he couldn't reach me, he couldn't come to Frankfurt because he had classes. So I had to find a train um, from Frankfurt to Bochum. But then I couldn't use the automat. So I was trying to buy the, what they call it, I was trying to get a car. And then I spoke to one German and she said, uh, please, do you speak German? Because she can hardly understand English. I said, no, I can speak German, but not that fluent. And she said, okay, just try. I told her I want to buy a car. And she said, okay, fine. Um, where is the money? I like, put her, uh, don't you, yeah, like, I was like, what do you mean, like, money? She said, yeah, you need to put in money to the automatic to get the car. Uh, I, was just, I was looking at her, like, I was surprised. I said, um, is there another solution? She said, there is no solution other than for you to get the money. Then, well, I told her that in my country, sometimes if you be, be a trainer, you can take me in front of your house and then you get me and then you bring her the money. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she kept quiet. She said, um, um, she now spoke in German. How's it for standing about the that cast? Yeah, the now, she's standing. And she said, um, I'm sorry, young man. Maybe you don't know what you're saying. And I said, Zisha. She said, well, you have to call your friend and then... Now what I'm saying, she can't imagine it that I want to get into the train and then ask the train to wait for me and go. She said, she can't imagine that. So I said, okay, okay, no problem. I said, thank you very much. So, she left. so I called my friend, I like, look at what happened. <coughs> so he started laughing, don't worry about it. I was just like, how do you want me to, like, he said, don't you have money with me? I said, I have money, but I don't get it. She didn't ask me for money, she just asked me what is the possibility. She said, okay, tell her person that you want to buy a car, and then bring out the money and show it to the person. So the person will be serious that you want to buy a car, that's right. I was like, okay, fine. So I got someone, and then somebody came, and explained this, and they gave the money. And then the person bought. So when um, I thought when you put in there, any money you put in there, you get the change. <laughs> <laughs> and the card or the, the price there was, I don't know, 55 or 54, but it wasn't a round figure like 55 or 60 euros, so there was a change. So I gave the guy the card and um, the money, and then he bought the card. So I was just like, hey, young man, come, hey, your change. I said, what? He said, here is your change. Um, I said, oh, does the machine give back change? Like <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, I'm sorry, like, but in my country, there are sometimes when you enter a bus, there are money you give, like, for example, if it's from Lagos, you are going from, uh, from Ireland to, let's say, Festa, there is an amount of money you give to the conductor, like, they call it, uh, you know, Schaffner in German. There's the amount of money you give, you don't expect change, like, for me, you don't expect, like, if it's five naira, you just. The guy you just leave it because of the money I'm giving to him. So I thought that the automatic way, like automatically, <laughs> so that was my, let's say, my, my experience that was quite bad and somehow not good for me. Thank you. Wow, what a lovely experience. <laughs> okay, so um, now we need a girl. Who has been, among three of you, who has been to Nigeria or stayed in Nigeria? I'm not Nigerian. Oh, you're not Nigerian? She's Nigerian. She is Nigerian. You're Nigerian. Were you born here? Yes. <laughs> okay. Were you yeah. Born here? No. Okay. Please, can you stand up and tell us your story? Very good. And. Yeah. Round of applause.
it's chained together. Unlike back home, mm -hmm. they just move there, you pick one, you put everything there and go. So I didn't know how to go about unlocking it. I was just landed. So the the first lady we approached, we were like, please we need a cat to carry our bag. The lady was like, sorry, you can't get it. I was with him, I was like, what are we going to do? The next person still doesn't understand. We just stood there. We didn't know what to do. And we are having about five bags all together. Stood there for about five minutes before that I think the lady came back and opened up the phone. Then we used that to unlock the the cast. Then like a girl came to meet us there, we did by name. After the thing we were very happy. So we're thinking that she's going to take us all the way from Hanover to Cluster. But she tried, we are very grateful. If not because of her, I wonder what we would have done. So she took us from there to Gosla and was by a chance to go back. She gave us direction on the bus to take, enter bus 830 to Cluster, stop there, call this person at the rest of them. So we entered the bus. Where you've not been before, it's just your first time. We're just moving and looking around. We didn't even know. We were the only blacks in that box. So we're just stood there. So we are moving over. So we got to a sign, a sign on the road that says, see, I think it's closed out. Six meters ahead. We didn't know the exact place to stop. So he decided to ask the guy beside him. See, we're going so sad. So the guy, he could not understand. The driver of the vehicle doesn't understand English. We were just there. So I have to bring out the viral. We wrote the name of the store. That was how we managed at the end of the day. We just drove there and before we met Bella, I think then he came. We were thinking he's going to take us to where we're going to maybe stay and it was like, no, that he's going somewhere. We still have to wait for another guy that speaks French. He doesn't speak English. And we, we don't understand. We, we, are, we don't speak French. So the guy came to see communication. We didn't know what to say. <laughs> we were like, hi. <laughs> so they communicated with hands and wrestled. At the end of the day, I was able to, to take us to where we spent the night. But it was very difficult. Because sometimes we'll just be talking to us, we wouldn't know. We would just be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> and we would talk to him, he wouldn't understand. He also would just smile. So <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy when you... <laughs> when you don't hear the next man's language, I think that's the only problem or a new experience we just had for now. Thank you.